and thank you to Concordia. Over the next few minutes, I will tell you about a partnership built around the concept of shared value. Shared value goes beyond traditional notions of corporate social responsibility. At my firm, SSG Advisors, our goal is to deliver results for shareholders and stakeholders alike. I am going to tell you about a, a, a forward-leaning government agency that sees a future where all of its citizens have access to the internet. How another government agency, together with USAID, saw an opportunity to improve the management of vital coastal fisheries in the Philippines. And how one of the world's leading technology companies found an opportunity to prove the viability of a new technology and a dynamic emerging market. Our story begins with the Department of Science and Technology in the Philippines, which has been leading the charge for delivering universal broadband access, a high-profile government goal. Under Secretary Luis Casambre plays a leading role in his government's broadband strategy and was looking for low-cost solutions to deliver access to nearly 100 million people across 7,000 islands of the Philippines. At the same time, the Bureau for Fisheries and Aquatic Resources and USAID launched ECOFISH, a five-year effort designed to improve the management of coastal fisheries in the, in the Philippines. To better protect and manage the, the fisheries, the government first needed to know how many fisherfolk were using the resource. You can't manage what you haven't measured. This, was a, this meant that the government needed to register fisherfolk, a goal that had eluded the government of the Philippines for decades because, the, because of the use of paper registration that was slow and inconvenient. If, however, registration could be done via online mobile platform, it could dramatically improve registration rates because the government could go out to the fisher folk where they lived and worked. However, many of the communities were remote and lacked internet access. Internet access is not simply a problem for fisher folk. It is a global challenge. Only 40% of the world's population is able to access the internet. Most of the unconnected are poor and live in rural and outlying communities. Connecting these four billion, four billion is a key goal for companies such as Microsoft. Microsoft believed that there was a technology that could help remote and underserved communities, but first it would need to pilot this technology in real world conditions. At the core of this partnership was an innovative use of an existing resource, broadcast TV spectrum. TV white space internet rides unused television frequencies between active broadcast channels to deliver a wireless internet connection over long distances. It provides low cost internet to remote towns and villages that need it. TV white space is cost effective, can be deployed quickly, and provides quality internet access for the last mile. Now, at first, it's hard to see what these organizations and this tech, these technologies, this technology might have in common. Well, at SSG, we believe in digging deep to uncover the power of collaboration. Through more than 200 partnerships across Africa, Asia, and Latin America, SSG has built a methodology for building and managing public-private partnerships that we call STEP. STEP stands for Sustainable, Transparent, Effective Partnerships. Using STEP, the partners were able to discover that if they worked together, they could achieve their goals more effectively than if they worked alone. The Department of Science and Technology could advance its national broadband strategy. Microsoft could test TV white space in a real world setting. And USAID and the Bureau for Fisheries and Aquatic Resources could improve fisheries management through increased fisher folk registration. This is the essence of shared value achieving more and better results through collaboration across business, government, and communities. Working together, the partners deployed the TV white space technology in outlying communities to facilitate online registration of fisher folk in a, in a pilot on the island of Bohol in the central Philippines, targeting those communities where registration rates were traditionally very low. The hope was that by providing an easy to use mobile and online registration platform connected by a TV white space, that registration numbers could be dramatically increased. So what, what did this partnership achieve? What, what was the impact? Why does any of this matter? Well, the partnership proved that online registration was highly effective. TV white space delivered, uh, directly contributed to more than 3,600 people being registered. Registered fisher folk also benefited from greater access to government health and social services. In pilot communities, more than 20, 20 schools were connected, 
improving the learning environment for some 3,000 rural students. In addition, more than, more than 20,000 people received be benefited from internet access at community centers, clinics, and government offices. Meanwhile, the Bureau for Fisheries and Aquatic Resources is now taking forward the online registration system nationwide, going from pilot to scale, which will allow the government to right-size and better manage coastal fisheries, a major USAID objective. The Department of Science and Technology has now adopted TV white space as a key technology for advancing its national broadband strategy. And for Microsoft, the partnership proved TV white space as a last mile solution that works in real world conditions. The company is now promoting the use of TV white space as a solution in providing internet access, creating new market opportunities for Microsoft while helping connect the billions of unconnected around the world. The TV white space partnership is also an excellent example of resilience and adaptation in the face of the unexpected. Shortly after the launch of the partnership, the Philippines was devastated by two natural disasters, the Bohol earthquake and Typhoon Yolanda. In addition to the devastating loss of life with more than 6,000 fatalities, basic infrastructure was destroyed. In the face of these horrific events, the partners banded together to repurpose the TV white space technology to enable emergency communications with remote communities. With mobile phones offline, TV white space was a vital and sometimes the only means of communication for relief workers, governments, and even families. The TV white space partnership demonstrates the power of collaboration, how when we work together, sharing risks and rewards, governments, companies, and communities can transform lives while preserving one of the world's most precious resources, our oceans. Thank you.